Hi everyone, it's Christy. Welcome back. We are continuing on with our um, Christmas, old time Christmas TNs. I have um, finished yesterday putting all of the, um, the envelopes in and the back pocket um, tuck in to all of these and I took out the ephemera and sorted it. It's so much easier to keep track of when it's not sorted. I don't know why I did it that way. I don't usually do it that way, but anyway. Um, I printed out one of the background pages um, and I printed this out. Um, I print borderless so all I did was go in to print the 8.5 by 11 and I unchecked the fit to box and then I printed on the other side with a similar image but with the lines so that you can write and uh, we're going to make some flip overs um, with those and these just flip over the page I like to include these um, they're fun for writing little things and they're not going to be too complicated I have all these uh, cute circle punches um, so we're going to use those. I've got some of the um, six inch lace that I've cut up into little uh, squares and so we're going to make flip over and then um, just a banner um, which is pretty basic but when I was cutting these down so that I could get four out of the page I cut the long sides down, I cut off an, an inch and a quarter, which gave me this strip here, because you can see it leaves a, a little border because they're A4 size. And um, I just trimmed these down to use for the the banners. Um, so I have a stack of those here, and then I have the ones I cut from from the ephemera here, and I'm just going to be um, using these items for today. So basically I printed out um, two pieces of paper, double sided for this um, today. That's it. So let's get busy. This won't take very long. Uh, it took me, uh, let's see, I've been in here for three hours working and um, to get the books up to where <laughs> Uh, all eight of those envelopes on and get all the beads. The beads took the longest, but all right, so um, I am going to fold this over. Um, these are three by, no, two and three quarter by six, and I scored them at two and a half to make an uneven flip, and I'm just going to ink around these really quickly. because I basically cut off all the grunge. Some of them have a little bit. You can see this one has some left on there, but um, yeah. So that's, that's as hard as that is. And then we're gonna add some trim. Do I, I probably should ink this side too. Sometimes I like to just go down the side because it gives a different um, kind of look. And it also, um, you know, when things are aged, they're not continuous. So it gives a little bit of a, a different uh, feel. Sometimes I'll do both just to mix it up a little bit. Okay, so I've got my my trim here. Let's attach that. Cut that off. Probably should have made sure it was even. Even. It looks even. All right. Sometimes you get lucky. Oh, I was going to fill up this bottle and I forgot. Oh well. We're not going to be I'm not going to be here too long, so I'll fix it later. Um, attach that piece. Usually I will do these with envelopes. You've seen me do it that way before. Um, but this time I'm not going to do it that way. I'm just going to add 
a little bit of this lace. This one I'll do horizontal. Use my paddle. And I just got all the glue off my fingers and then I stick my fingers right in the glue. That's just the way I roll. Alright, so on the short side I'm doing this Merry Christmas. Just going to ink around that. Now this, because of the way I printed them out, this wasn't quite as big as the punch. Um, so I just kind of tried to make sure it was even all the way around. And um, then, you know, by adding that um, edge, it blends. Okay, so I'm adding a little bit more glue than I normally would just to get it to snit, snick. Wow, I'm having a hard time today. All right, so Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. It's nice and cold. So I know it's still wet. Okay, we're going to flip that over. I'm going to run some glue down the middle of this one. to attach some more lace. This time I'll go vertically. Use my paddle. And I'll use my pink Santa. Like I said, we want to add a little bit more glue than we normally would because we have to get through through the lace to the paper. Make a good connection there. Okay. I may or may not come back and do some flat back pearls. I don't know. Um, I'll revisit it later and see. Not everything has to have the pearls. Um, sometimes when you're making ephemera, you know, it's 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 better just to have something that's basic because not everything needs to be so overwhelming. Okay, so there we have our flip over. Now the way I attach this to the page is just with a paper clip. So I've got two of those done. And now we will do our banner. Guys, this is really basic stuff. Anyone can do this. I'm going to take two of these pieces and one that I did out of that extra strip. I'm going to ink this up. This has a little bit heavier um, ink on that one side, so kind of want to match that. But most of this is going to get covered anyway, so all right, let's do, and and that is on the 28 pound paper. These are on the cardstock, um, so it doesn't really matter. I'm just using it. A lot of times I'll use um, book page. You can use book pages for this, but I happen to have that strip and thought, you know, I'll just use that for the for the banner since it's here. Okay, and then. Um, I'm not going to overlap as much. I'm going to use my grid here just to make sure that it's straight on the top. But these are smaller than what I'm normally working with. So I'm going to overlap about, well, I guess it's a little less than a quarter of an inch. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And like I said, the, I'm not really measuring as much as lining up the top so it's straight across. Okay, and this will make a nice little tuck spot. Let's put some 
uh, trim along here. And this one I usually do attach to the page with, um, I've got a lot of glue there. Um, I usually attach this one to the page either with staples or I'll glue it on. Um, I don't normally make this one a floating piece. Okay, Let me trim that off. There we go. And that's all there is to that. So you can see how difficult this is. I am late getting to you. It's almost 2 o'clock right now um, when I'm recording this. So it'll be about probably three more hours before you get to see it um, by the time I um, get it uploaded. So, all right. So let's find a place. Um... It doesn't really matter. I, you know what? I think I'll put it on the grid paper for now, and we can move it uh, if we want to. I'm going to do it on this side. Do the, I'm going to do the one that's dry, <laughs> just in case. All right, so I've got that. Now I need a paper clip. Now, I like to use the smaller paper clips for this. But when I'm, um, it just, it's easier. So, okay, so now you have a tuck spot here, and you have a tuck spot back here. Okay? And you can turn that paper clip around if you need, if you need it stronger on this side, you could totally um, put the, the bigger piece there. Um, okay, now where do we want to put that paper clip, or that, um, that banner? Let's put the banner on this one. Right at the top, I'm just going to, um, add about a quarter of an inch line, uh, area of glue. like so and I will attach this to the top and line it up with the edge I got my, my glue pin stuck to my arm <laughs> all right let's make sure that I, I left a little margin maybe a sixteenth of an inch that's it and um, just press that down and then we have another tuck spot, okay? All right, so I'm gonna do that about, well, seven more times. And um, I did go through and ink all my cardstock, so I'm caught up on that. So I'm gonna do this about seven more times, and then we'll be back tomorrow to work on something else. So have a great day, guys, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.